Okay, hey guys, all of my bitches. Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Thos 2 Shadowhunters convention story time. This is day two. If you haven't seen day one, click the link below, watch day one first because otherwise it's not going to really make much sense. Well, it probably will. But you should probably watch my day one experience first and then now day two. So if you have just come here from day one and you are still ready to listen to my long story time, Welcome back to another video, part two. After the craziness that was day one, I had no idea uh, what day two was going to have in store for me. So, get your snacks, if you haven't got them already. Get food, drinks, whatever you need, because it's another long story time. Day two, let's go. So... Day two, there was no opening ceremony because obviously it was, they do have the closing ceremony instead. We'll get to that. Um, again, the photo ops were like the same order as yesterday. It was Matt, Harry, M, and Will, then Kat, Alberto, Dom, and Jade, plus then afterwards the panel, and then all the duos and the trios and the private lounges. Uh, so, again, my first photo was Matt. Wanted to die again. And, but you know what though, because I had already met them like, for the first time on um, Saturday, the day before Saturday. These photo ops, I wanted them to be a bit more funny and more, you know, just more fun. Because now that I have my normal photo with them, I just want it to be just a crazy photo. And this photo op, Matt was going to wear my Hawaii cap. Um, the most iconic thing. Went into the Matt's... I walked into Matt's op. And um, I had my hat. And I was like to him, I was like... Like, ta-da! I was like, look what I have. He's like, oh, hey! I'm like, ta-da! <laughs> he probably fucking hates me. Um, <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is the hat. He's like, oh, sweet. And because, like, my head's tiny, like, it obviously wasn't going to fit Matt's head, so I had to, like, undo it. I'm like, I'm like, here, I'm like, you have to probably fix it. And he's like, yeah, I'll fix it. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll adjust it. And I'm like, he's like, can I... Um, I was like, how should I wear it? And I'm like, you know, I, I said to him, I'm like, wear it however you want. It's your hat now. Like, you can have it. Do whatever you want. Wear it however you want. It's your hat. Go for it. So he put the hat on and we took our photo. And, um, the, I was, the, so I took this, this, this was the first photo I took, but it was one of the last photos I got. Because that was, I don't know what happened, but it was one, and it was the one I wanted the most. Because, like, he was wearing my hat. Obvious, he wore the hat like this, right? He wore it like, ignore my hair, but, like, he wore it like that, right? This is our photo. Look. I mean, come on. He's pointing to it, he's doing the smolder, like, it's everything I wanted. I saw this photo, and I died inside. Like, this was more iconic than me actually meeting Matt. He's where I'm wearing the cap that Matt has worn. Matt has worn this cap. This cap is like the Holy Grail now. Like, it's, it's been signed by the cast. It's been worn by Matthew Daddario. It's been touched by Jensen Ackles. Like, this is a Holy Grail. This is literally the model cup. It's the model hat, let's be real. Bad joke, sorry. Moving on. Can we just look at how gorgeous that photo is? I'm dead, right? So, okay. And then I said to Matt, um, thank you so much for everything, Matt. Um, I'll see you later. Um, no, I said to him, I guess I'll see you on the internet. And he's like, yeah, oh yeah, I can't wait for that video. And I'm like, dude, so Matt, if you're watching, hey. <laughs> what the hell? Hi Matt, hi Kat, hi everybody who's probably watching my video right now. Um, so that was Matt up and it was, oh my god, I just, I, I loved it so much. He was so nice. He wore my hat. I'm wearing, Matt's worn this cap. Iconic, right? Like nothing, no one's ever going to have a photo like that because this is the only cap. That's, you know, like this is iconic. Like that's why this photo is one of my favorite photos of all time because no one else has an op wearing my hat. Like, that's iconic, right? To me at least. Um, and then it was Harry next, and Harry, what Harry was wearing in that photo op, oh my god, he was wearing like, um, some like, nice pants, and he was wearing like a really good shirt, and he's so tanned, and his arms, and like, dude, I swear to god, 
I almost passed out. Like he is that. I mean, he's he was he's always hot, but like today that day he was a god. It was like I was staring at a sculpture of a god. Like he, I I'm a god. No, I can't I can't even speak about that. Um, so I went and I had this insane idea. I went to Harry. And um, he was like, oh, I'm like, hey, Harry. He's like, hey, Harry, how are you, Adam? <laughs> and I was like, I have a crazy idea. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, can you attack me as Magnus, like with magic? And I'll like, kind of like, you know, get hit by it. And he, I, I'm like, I didn't even know if it means. And he's like, yeah, okay, cool. And as I said that, I turned and Shelby, Harry's wife, Shelby is like standing at the, you know, uh, in, a, uh, in, a, in the back over there and she's just like so happy and I'm like oh my god that's Shelby like that's my queen my queen is over there like Shelby oh my holy crap so Harry and I took our photo of him attacking me as Magnus Bane I was attacked by a warlock not clickbait story time I mean look at his arm though I look like a chicken trying to fly but ignore me but like come on Please, that's gorgeous. I'm just saying. I was trying not to pass it because Harry, like, he looked, he was like so gorgeous, and I'm just like, holy crap, like this is crazy. Like Matt and then Harry, like, holy crap. Um. So then I went to M's photo, and um, I had my Paris hoodie on because like it was supposed to be summer, but it wasn't really that hot that day, so I wore my jumper. And um, I walked into M's photo up and she looked at me and she's like, hey, Paris. Because, like, I had Paris on my jumper. And I'm like, hey, M. And she, like, gave me the biggest hug. And um, she was like, I'm like, how did you... Because she wasn't at the party the night before. And I was like to her, oh, how did you... Did you have a good rest? And she's like, I slept right up until I had to come here. Like, it was fantastic. I feel so good. And then she was like, to me, what pose would you like? And I'm like, maybe just, like, a badass, like, kind of back-to-back -back kind of pose. And, um... I was going all out, not all out, but like I was like kind of getting a bit creative now. Like I was a bit more comfortable in asking for poses now. So this is me and M's second photo. Like, I mean, queens, two queens, right? Like 100%. Like two queens. Goddess and goddess. Two, I don't know. But we look great. I love a long time. Um, I said bye to M and then I went over to Will. And Will's one, I was, I was, we said hey again. I was like to him, um, so I kind of wanted to do a photo op where I saw something evil. Like, who says that? I'm such an idiot, I swear to God. I think it was his accent threw me off. I was like, I want to do something kind of evil, like Sebastian, Jonathan. And, um, I don't even know what this was, but I love it so much. I was like, I was like yeah, okay, let's do, you know, let's like, kind of stare into the camera, like, intently. I'm like, yeah, that seems great. Like, I was like, I was like... Whatever you guys want to do, like, I'm down for it. Like, if you have a pose you want to do, do it. Like, go ahead. This was me and Will's. I mean, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but Will looks so good. He's, like, me looking at Freeform after that can saw Shadow Hunters. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, honest to God, it's so cute. And I don't think it's, it's more cute than it is evil, but, like... I didn't even know what I had. I was just like, I don't know. I didn't even want to take the same photo again. I tried to shake it up. I, I tried to shake it up, whatever. Then, then we had the panels. I remember Dom, Cat, and Alberto having their panel, and it was so funny. Oh my god. That, okay, that, okay, that was day two, yes. Okay, so that was the one where Dom was infatuated with Alberto. He, because Alberto was saying something. And then he sat, Dom came down the stage and sat down on the ground in front of us and was just staring at Alberta like this. I'm like, bitch, saying that that is a mood, right? That is such a mood right now. And then he was like, to, um, to Alberta, you're really pretty. And Alberta was like, <laughs> he's like, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Like, he got so, like, caught up in the moment. And, like, there were so many times where Dom and Alberta would, like, kiss, you know, grab each other, like, kiss on the cheek, like, you know, bros. And I'm like, it was so nice to see the cast being that comfortable that comfortable with each other like it was so sweet and i think at that point cat had like lost her voice like she could barely speak like it was it was that it was it was like kind of you could hear her yesterday but like on sunday it was like more it was you could tell it was like gone i'm like cat you poor thing and it was just a really good them three it was like a really 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 good panel like i really loved it a lot um it was so much it was so funny um and then and then 
Then we had the Matt and Harry panel. Thank God I didn't have to do any ops in that time because, like, I wanted to be in that panel for Harry and Matt. And let me tell you, it was the best thing I've ever watched. Like, okay. Harry, um, they were talked about, someone talked about the alternate universe, like, you know the, the alternate dimension where, like, Alec is, like, super gay and, like, Harry didn't have any of the makeup on, oh, sorry, Magnus didn't have any of the makeup on. So Matt was saying how if someone asked a question about, um, the alternate universe in 110, and Matt was like, I can't remember what the actual question was, but Matt said if alternate Alec uh, was still, you know, in our world, still existed now, was still here in the show, he would be, he would be causing so much trouble, and like, to be honest, that's so true, because he's so sassy, and so like, you know, just needs to know everything, and then Harry imitated alternate Alec, and was like, he would be so sassy, and he would always sass Magnus every chance he got, like, and he imitated alternate Alec, and Harry was like, he was imitating him like, oh, your magic's that colour, like, oh my god, you should have heard the rumour, I was in laughter, I was in a fit, I'm not even joking, I was trying to control myself in the front row, I'm not even joking, and then I was attacked, a fan asked a question to, um, to them, and asked if, if Alec was to die, what would the object be to put in Magnus's box, and I was attacked, I was a triggered, everyone in the room was like, oh, like, everyone was like, oh my god, did that, and then Mad was like, oh my god, and, that was like, can we, he's like, did you just ask that? Like, oh my god, there was like, the fans don't like that question. And I'm like, yeah, because like, oh my god, no. And then, I think Matt said it was going to be the arrowhead. That would, would most likely be the arrowhead that would be in the box. But I think, I think Harry said the Omomori. Or like, so, it, I think the arrowhead was like, too is too simple. Like, I don't know. But like, he's like, let's not think about that yet. Like, you know, let's just not... You know, let's not go there still. The relationship's still thriving. Like, we can't think about that yet. I'm like, thank God. Because, like, that's going to trigger me. I'm going to be so upset. Just seeing Harry and Matt on stage together, like, made my entire life. I was so, so happy. And, like, I was just, I was just in awe, like, staring at them both. Like, honest to God. Like, goals. But just let me tell you, having Matt and Harry on stage in a panel together and watching it right in front of you is a religious experience. I get, it's another, this whole thing oh, is an, a spiritual experience. Like my soul wasn't in my body anymore. Like they just work so well. Hello Harry and Matt just work so well with each other. And in their panel, Shelby was like in the corner with like the other people. Uh, with like, you know, like Harry's like PR or, you know, his management or whatever. And she's just watching him and like the way she looked at Harry. Oh my god, it is true love. Like she just looks at him like he is the only thing that matters in the world. And like, honestly, bitch same. Can relate. She just looks so gorgeous and she just, the way she stared at Harry. I think, no, I think she was in his panel. Or it was the group panel. But she was in one of the panels. Oh, she could have been in both. I can't remember. But there was a point in the panels where she was staring at Harry, just watching him. And I was just like, that is what I want in my life. That is what I want. Like, that's goals. I'm not even joking. That is actually goals right now. So we had that. And then, then the next set of ops happened for me. So it was Cat, Alberto, Dom, and... Jade. Okay, so Kat's photo op. Um, she, I was, we were just, it's, it's not even like a shock anymore. Like, we're, and I said that, that was, we confirmed in that photo op that we're friends. Like, I walked up to her and I hugged her again. I'm like, hey, Kat, how are you? And she's like, I'm good, how are you? And no, her, and that's when her voice was gone. Her voice was like slowly, it was like literally almost gone at this point. <coughs> like, she was like kind of whispering, like trying to conserve her voice. And I'm, I was like, this is gonna sound crazy, but I feel like we're friends now. And she's like, we are, we are friends. And I was like, it just made me so happy. Cause like, she's the, I told you this in part one, in day one, she's the most sweetest person. Okay. And she's like, no, we're friends. And I was like, <laughs> trying not to like have a breakdown in front of her. Like, it's just, it's surreal because like having, watching somebody on screen for like, you know, all, you know, three seasons and then finally meeting them and then becoming a friends with them. It's so surreal. It's insane. Like, it's something I would have never dreamed of in my life. I would nev never have thought this would be possible. Like, I would be friends with Kat or, like, someone from the Shadowhunters cast. Like, it's just mind-blowing to me, right? I was like, to her, I don't even know what photo of. I, I didn't know any photo. I had a few ideas for other people, but not for Kat, because I'm just like... But then we thought, let's 
practice, you know, let's do some magic. And I'm like, yeah, cool, okay, I'm, I'm down for that. I'm down for doing magic, like, let's go, come at me. So that was our photo op of us doing the magic. I'm sure you've all seen these photos, because I've posted, like, most of them online anyways, because I had to. But look how good we look. Like, I never turn out in photos, like, rarely. Like, I might take one good selfie, like, by accident. And I'm like, holy crap, that's actually a really good picture. But this photographer took really, these photographers took really amazing photos. I look good in HQ. I'm not to be dramatic, but I need to get a new camera so I can, you can see me in HQ and, and you know, see how good I look in HQ, not to be, you know, not to be that extra, but, like, let's be real. But that is such a cool photo. I can't. Okay. And then I went to Alberto's. And oh my god, Alberto man, he, he owns my heart. Wait, I own his heart. No, wait, he owns my heart. Well, I don't know, I can't speak English, I don't know what I'm talking about. I love him, okay? So, I walked in there and I was, we did like, did I say dude again? I can't, I said, I don't know. I we walked in, he's just so happy to see me again, like they were all were anyways. And he looked, he was like, bro, and I'm like, what's up bro? Oh, no, I didn't do that, that's a lie, I lied, sorry, wait. He said bro to me, and I'm like, hey man, or oh, so I said something straight, I can't remember. And we like shook hands, we, like, we did like the, we did the bro, we did the bro hug, like, you know, the shake hands and like the pat on the back. Oh, kill me now. And I was like, and we were just kind of talking again, and I was like, actually, you know what? I know, I, he's like to me, he, Alberto said to me, oh, we're bros now, and I died. Like, just coming from Cat, like, confirming that we're friends to like, Coming to Alberta and him confirming that we're bros now, like, it's a thing. Like, we're bros. Alberta is a thing. Like, it's a bro TP. You need it in your life right now. You understand? In these dark times in the Shadowhunters fandom, because, you know, in these dark times, the ray of light is Alberta and I becoming bros. Cat and I becoming friends. This is a thing. It's happened. It's like, we're bros now. And I was like, actually, I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, stop. That's amazing. And I'm like... Actually, that can be our photo op pose, like us being bros, like, you know, the hand, you know, the handshake and whatever. And he's like, yes, yeah, sweet. Okay, cool. And we did it. And Alberto's face kills me because he tried to like, so, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I can't. Listen. Listen. Okay, ready? Oh, I'm covering his face. Look, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but like Alberto's arm, oh, man. Like, you know that Justin Bieber tweet, I love arm? That's me with Alberto and Harry. Let's be real. Like, honest to God, he's, look at his face, he's so cute. But Alberto, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> but all jokes aside, I love you, bro. Oh my God, look at me. What the, what is my life right now? Um, like, look at that photo and tell me it's not the most precious thing. And I'm just like, that's right, I'm bro with Alberto, step back. Like, try me. Just try me, guys. Like, that's my face. Jade looked... His outfit for day two was insanely amazing. I cannot. Like, it was incredible. And, um... And we were, I was like, hey, hey, you know, how was the party? How'd you find, how'd you find the party? And I'm like, you have a good rest? You know, you're all ready for today. He's like, yeah, I'm having a great time. Thank you so much. And then he's like, I'm like, what pose you want to do? And I was like, um... And I, have, I hadn't done a sit-down pose yet. So I was like, let's do a sit-down pose. And, like, just be chillin'. Because we're kind of bros too, like, we're just chilling on, the, sitting, on, you know, enjoying the day, you know, enjoying life. If I can get the photo out of the plastic. Look, me and Jade, Jade and I, I mean, listen. Another bro TP you knew, you never knew you needed until now, like, honest to God. Like, that's a thing. Like, seriously, please. Then I went to, I was about to say Dom Birdo. Dom, Dominic. And we took one of my favorite photos of all time. I didn't think I Loki wanted this photo for Matt, but I didn't think this. I didn't think of this photo until Dom told me about it, because you know we're friends now. <laughs> Hi Dom, um, we're bros. I think me and Dom too now. So I walked into Dom's and, and <laughs> I was like to him, I want to do something iconic. Like why would I say that? I put no wait hold on be right before the Dom's photo op right before I I, w I was waiting to be next to go to his photo and Dom's friend Alice I think it's his manager or always one of his friends or something someone his name's Alice he's as I was waiting for Dom's picture like standing there he's like to me oh Adam and I'm like hi it's like um, Dom and I were watch watching your videos before again He's like, you're, you're, he's like, you're so sassy and you're so funny. I love it. So I'm sassy. Obviously, we've been you. But like, 
Alice, I stand this man. I, was, I didn't say that to him. I'm, I feel like saying, I stand you. Like, God bless you, man. I was like, Alice, my king is here. I, I, who's Dom? Alice is my man. I don't know who Dom is right now. I was like, Alice, I love you. I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. Like, what else am I supposed to say? Like, I was just thank, I was just saying thank you all the time. Don't be alarmed. Um, I was trying to finish my story time in the hotel room, but then I had to leave for the plane because the plane about to get to the airport, and then like I'm back in my own. As you can see, I'm back in my room now, so I can finally finish this story time that I've been trying to finish for like three days. I've been interrupted so many times, but now I can finally finish the story time. Okay, so. After Dom's friend Alice said, uh, told me about my video, said, thank you, you know, you're sassy, you're, you're so funny. I was like, thank you so much. Went up to Dom, started talking, and then um, I was like, I want to do something iconic. And then Dom's like, he asked Alice what's something iconic we could do. And then he's like, hold on a second. Why don't we do a photo, a photo, like a selfie? And I was like, yeah, okay, that sounds really cool. So this was a photo that, oh my God, as, as I said, it's one of my favorite photos of all time. Like, it looks incredible. Listen. I mean, look. How cute is that? Look. I don't know who's more happier to meet each other, me or Dom. Like, honest to God. Like, look at the smile on his face. Like, he's actually... Oh, my God. I cannot. Just look. I'm going to zoom in. I mean, I mean zoom in. I mean put the picture more. So, that was the one of my favourite photos. Wish I did that for Matt, but, like, it's okay. Like, Matt wore my hat. It's fine. Like, every photo I have is legendary to me, like, honest, honestly. So, that was that one. And then that concluded the, the solo photo ops. Then we had the group panel. And, oh my god, in this group panel, Alberto sang a song. He sang to us. Like, and it... Oh my god, my feelings for Alberto, man. Like, he did not let me rest. I was living. I think cause someone mentioned if Alberto was going to have any more songs in 3B, I think. or And then someone's like, oh, can you sing us a song? Or someone said something about him singing. And then everyone was like, looking at Alberto like, yeah, like sing us something. And then Alberto ends up singing something. Oh my god, he has gotten the most amazing voice. I, I was smitten. I was just like, it's just... Every Everyone else was blurry. It was just him and like, I was just watching him and I was like, it was beautiful. He is amazing. And it's just, as I said, I think I said this in day one, like just having the whole cast interact and like joke with each other on, on the group panel was just so lovely. And like they all mesh so well together and it's just so, so great to see. And I love it. It's, it's literally one of my favorite things. And oh, I can't, it was, the group panels are amazing. Oh my God, that oh, nuts. Alberto sang. I witnessed Alberto singing live. And I'm still alive. Actually, this is all in the afterlife. I'm, my dead body is still in Paris. Like, I didn't make it back. It's fine. I floated here. And then all the, um, the duos happened. And O and the trios, and all the other ones. And O, including the Harry and Matt photo op. Like, I... Okay. So that we'll talk about that one later because the first one I did was the the, um, the trio, the Lightwood trio. So it was Dom, M, and Al and Matt. And okay, I was in line for this photo op for the three of them. I didn't know what I, what pose, what pose I wanted to do. Right. So, I, and then someone mentioned like a hug one or just something. Some, and then I was thinking, hold on, why don't I hold hands? And then it clicked, and I'm like, hold on. I need to hold Matt's hand in this photo op. Like, imagine me and Matt holding hands in this photo, right? Like, how iconic would that be? Like, I would freak out. Your internet would break. And I was like, oh my god. I have to... I'm like, okay. And then I, it came to me. Like, you know, um, in episode... I think it was 308, I think. The three go in, three come out. Um, When they were in Jace's mind. I'm not sure. I think it was 308. I can't remember. But that episode... And I was like, hold on, what if you do, like, four go in, four come out, like, with me? I'm like, holy God, this is such a good idea. For, I, I thought, I thought it was a great idea. So I walked in, and they were also happy to see me again. They were like, hey, Adam, they fucking knew my name. Like, that's crazy, okay? Like, knowing my name, like, straight away, like, oh, my God. And, um, and then I think because the lady told them that I, that I wanted to do a holding hands pose. And, um, and, and Em's like, oh, so holding hands? And I'm like... Yeah, it's kind of, and I'm like, I had that, I had this idea of, you know, the four, you know, three go in, three come out, but like with me, like, you know, four go in, and they're like, and Dom actually said, actually, that's a really cool idea, he really liked that idea, so I positioned myself, but I'm like, as long as I'm holding Matt's hand, I don't care 
who which other whose other hands I'm holding as long as I hold Matt's hands like I had to be Matt's like I'm, I had to I had to plan this I'm like oh my god I'm not extras I swear cut to like my trailer my official trailer that I did for Thoughts my Thoughts story time um so. I put a position myself between... It happened to be Matt and Dom, which was, like, perfect. And I was, like, cool. And I, like, grabbed him. So I'm, like, okay, let's, I'm, like, let's kind of hold hands. And then Dom's, like, actually, I'm holding one. And I hold M's hand. And it'd be, like, a circle. I'm, like, yeah, okay, sweet. So I held Matt. I grabbed him. Matt's hand, I can't, I swear, oh, oh, I grabbed Matt's hand, I had Dom's hand, and then Matt had M's, and Dom had M's hand, it was kind of like a circle, and oh my god, this photo is incredible, okay, I mean, look, look at that, though, like, to be honest, like, the whole photo actually looks really good, this light is really annoying me right now, but, but just, oh, look, Matt's hand, look, look at that! It's not going to zoom in, but, like, listen, when I tell you I looked at this photo, I was already dying holding his hand and, like, looking up, like, when I was, like, talking to them all, because they're all so tall, and then getting the actual photo, I wanted to die, right? I was going to die. Like, and then I tweeted the photo and everyone's screenshotting me and Matt holding hands. I'm like, that's a mood. That is the biggest mood. The next one was Cat and Dom. The Clay's photo. So I walked in and I just hugged Kat again. I was so happy. I'm like, I love you, Kat. I just, I told, every time I saw her, I said, I love you. I don't care. And then Dom's like, hey, man, what's up? He just, everyone, all, every, every, nah, they just, oh my God. And Dom's like, hold on, how about I get down on the ground? So he got down and did his little pose. And then, and Kat and I are like, oh yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, you do that. And then Kat's like, okay, and then we'll crouch down. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, do you guys, you do whatever you want. This is your photo. Like, I'm, I'll do whatever you guys want me to do. Like, I'm down for anything. Whatever you guys want, I'm down. Like, I just... Oh, my God. I mean, I love that. I Look at me trying to squat. It looks like I'm taking a shit, let's be honest. I'm not, obviously. But, like, I think that Dom did that pose quite a lot. That's one of his favourite poses, I think. And then Kat and I just, like... It's incredible. I can't even describe. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, it's the Dom Birdo. Dom and Alberto photo. That was actually my last photo op because I was actually in Matt's private lounge when this photo was supposed to be taken. Dom and Alberto, it just, I walked in and would, they were like, hey bro, and Dom was like to me, it's always a pleasure to like see you. I'm like, dude, please, my heart, my actual heart. He's like, it's always such a pleasure. And I'm like, say me too. And I'm like, you guys are amazing. Thank you. So, you know, thank you for all the support. I said, this is the bro T3 you needed, you need right now in your life. This is the bro T3 you all need, please. Okay? I mean, they're all both so happy. And, like, it's. I think it's because they're such a huge, huge fan of my videos. Like, it just made it that much more meaningful to me. Like, just to... Oh, I, feel, I don't know, man. Like, it just adds so much more meaning to my photos. You know what I mean? Like, just having them all know you just means so much. Um, oh my god, the Malik photo was next. Okay, so Matt and Harry's photo, I was literally freaking out. Like, having them single photos, yeah, I, I was just, you know. But having them, okay, this is this is Malik, like, the reason I'm living right now. Like, having them, Matt and Harry, in the same photo, like, this was huge. This was big, right? So, and I think they were a little bit stricter on the Malik photo. You could only do, you could either do like a normal photo, a badass photo, or like a funny photo. They were, they were like the only three options they get, the lady would give you. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Um, I think I said badass. I can't remember. I said like a fighting one again. I, don't know, I kind of panicked because I was like, holy crap. Like, I had like a, you know, a, a kind of family hug, like, you know, my dad's. But like, it changed. I think Matt was like, we'll, Matt said something. I'm like, we'll go with Matt's idea. Like, Matt can just do whatever. Whatever he wants. I was like, go for it. This was our Malik photo. So, it, it, this was just us kind of fighting side by side, pretty much. I mean, look at... First of all, look at Matt and his arm there. And then look at... Harry's just beautiful. And then my... Look at me, like, trying to fight. Like, you can't relate. But, like, having that photo... It looks shit on the camera, but, like... But it's still... It's pretty fucking good, let's be honest. Like, oh my god. I tried... It was a really... It was a bit of a quick for a photo up because everyone wanted a photo with Matt and Harry. Of, like, of course, it's Malik. Like, they're the, it was the biggest, the most sold-out photo. 
Like, I swear to God. And then, okay, this is the Sizzy photo. Oh, my God. I love this photo so much because, okay. So, I walked up there and I was saying hi to them again, you know, as I do. And we are just talking. And then, um, the, what we asked what post I want to do. And I was like, I kind of... I was like, I want to do something with Alberta and have, like, M... Um, you know, doing like such something beautiful, you know what? Yeah, because she's flawless. And then Simon, Simon, and Alberta's like to me, "Hack, why don't we, you know, fight over Izzy?" I'm like, "Okay, that's I'm cool with that." And as we we're taking the photo, right? Me and Alberta were looking at each other like we now fight pose. I'll show you the photo. So like, obviously Izzy's uh, Izzy Emerald is just like standing there being queen, and me and Alberta, right? Like you can see in our faces, we in that pose, uh, we both started cracking up laughing because like. We were like, okay, let's go. Got in there, looked at each other in the eyes, and we just, uh, we just like, pfft, like, kind of, you know, we just laugh because it's just so stupid, stupid and so funny. We just started cracking up, and I was like, okay, wait, serious, serious, and we're trying to be serious, and we're trying like laughing at the same time. And this one, oh my god, it's the cutest thing. Like you, can, you can see him trying to laugh and me trying to laugh, and then Em's just like, hey, like queen, literally. My favourite photo. And then the next op I had was Cat and Alberto. Oh my lord. I think in this photo op, this was when I said to Cat, I, I said exactly this. I'm like, fuck, I love you so much. Like I and she just laughed. She was like, oh my god, you're the cutest. I just and then Alberto was playing some some of his songs on he had Bluetooth and he was like playing his songs on his eye on his phone. He has some good jams, Alberto. Let me tell you now. He has some good jams, okay? This is our photo, and it wasn't of anything funny. It was just like a normal, like kind of cute, and it's so cute. His head's on my head, and, like cats there, and, like it's so cute. I want to die. It's great. <laughs> so that, <coughs> I think that concludes all. Oh my god, that concludes all my photo ops. Now we get into the good stuff. So okay, Matt's private lounge with like twenty people plus him in there. Um. Let me tell you, being in front row and having Matt sitting, like, where the camera is, it was the same as Alberta, like, it is an experience. Like, he is, like, right there. And, like, and everyone's, and it's good, because everyone doesn't freak out, like, we freak out later, but, like, everyone's nice and calm and everyone respects each other. They respect the staff, the staff respects us, we respect the actors, the actors respect us. Like, it's just so nice and it's not crazy, like, you know, there aren't any fangirls running around wild, like, you know, it's just really, really great it's just a really good environment to be in and that's what it's supposed to be and that's why all the you know all the, the cast love coming to this con because it's just so everyone's so respectful of them and it's amazing okay so anyway matt's uh, matt's private he was we just started he he talked about some of his future projects that he has like his documentary and stuff he would you know and then he mentioned this video of um he that of that he took on his ipad of two pigeons having sex oh my god i swear to god i was not expecting he bought this because he had two matt had two private lounges in the first one he brought it up and and then someone brought it up in this one as well and um he's he just and matt just loves taking pictures and videos of pigeons like i don't know why but i approve of it anyways and it's just the funniest thing ever i love it so much and b towards the end of Matt's private lounge, um, I had to be the Dom Birdo photo op was happening, so we had to like quickly wrap it up. And as we all we took the group photo of the private lounge, which you can find here, took that photo, and after Matt's like, "Oh, did anyone want to see the pigeons having sex video?" And I was like, "Um, yes, of course. Like, I Dom Birdo can wait. I have to watch this video. This is more important." And <laughs> I'm like, "Literally, this is gonna change my life." So a bunch of us was like crowded around man. He was like, "How did I?" But he was so happy to show us this bloody video of pigeons having sex. Push play, and I was like, "Oh my god, mad really?" I was like, "Seriously, what is this?" I was laughing. He's like, "Look, look, look!" He's like, he was so happy showing us the videos. It was the funniest thing ever. He was so happy. He was like, "Look, look, there we go." And then like, then that third pigeon tries to like join in, and then they like kind of run away. Like, no, no, this is our time. It's the most weirdest fucking video. It's the oh my god, it's the best. Coming from Matt, anything's good. Any, it's good. I'm gonna love it anyways. And it's just so mad for him to record pigeons having sex. Like, of course. It's so mad. Just, it was just a really nice moment that he shared with, like, a bunch of us. Like, this not gonna really happen again. Like, it was just so nice. And I was like, I can't believe you showed me this video. Like, this is insane. Like, he was laughing. He was having the best time, I swear to God. After all that, it was time for the autographs. And this, in this order, in these autographs, I got Jade to sign my cap. Which you can ignore my hair. I just got off the plane. 
Jade signed it there. Um, and then he said to me, I'll see you on YouTube. So like, I'm like, yeah, I'll see you. Because it was like, this was our literally last official meeting. Me meeting, like, officially, like, saying hi to them. Like, this was the last time I was going to see them, like, face-to-face, -face, like, and actually talk to them, interact. So Jay's like, I'll see you on YouTube. Um, with Kat, at this point, she had lost her voice. It was gone. I got her to sign my cap as well, which is right here. And in my, I don't know if I showed you in the other video if it was th the lighting was really bad. But Harry's autograph is there. Um, Dom's is there. And Alberto's is there. And Matt's is there. Okay. Just so that was all everyone signing my cap. And then, so that was Kat. She signed that and she said, I said thank you for everything, Kat. Uh, and I'm like, you know, we were like, we'll be, we'll say this was like our last interaction to kind of together. And I'm like, I'll, I'll see you around. I'll be, you know, I'm like, I'm, we'll meet again. Don't worry. So I got Dom to sign a something for my friend because my friend is obsessed with Dom. So I'm like, I'll do something nice because he signed my cap and he signed a photo for me. So like, it was only nice that I did something for my friend. I did the same with M and, and Will. I got them to sign something for one of my other friends. Um, Alberto, the same. Something for my other friend. And then he said to me, Keep being dope. He said that even though he wrote it in his like, um, he's like, keep being dope. Like, you're awesome. Like, I can't wait to see more videos from you. And I'm like, thank you so much, Alberto. And then, I just wanted to stay in court. I just wanted to stay there and talk to him so much. And But, like, you know, obviously there were other fans. I couldn't. Then we came to Matt. He was the last one again. I saved Matt for last. And this was the moment I had to tell him my joke, right? Okay, listen. I forgot to tell him the joke in the, in the on day one because I'm an idiot. And... Staring at Matt, I forgot, because, like, I was staring at Matthew Daddario. Like, of course I forgot. Like, all my logic. When all my thoughts went out the window, I wasn't thinking. I was like, oh, my God, it's Matt. Like, staring at Matt, like, I wasn't thinking at all. I'm like, no, I had to tell him this joke. This joke is happening. And it, while I was in the queue waiting for Matt's auto, I was telling one of the other girls my joke. And as I was saying it, I realized how terrible it was. And I'm like, I've come this far. I'm not giving up now. So I walked over to Matt's table, and he was like, hey, Adam. I'm like, hey, Matt. Um, and I was like to him, okay, so I have this, I have that really terrible joke to tell you. And he's like, oh yes, I can't wait to hear this. And I was like to him, listen, as I, I was just telling my, I was just telling this joke to my other friend. And as I was saying it, I realized how terrible it was. And he started laughing. Like, it's like he knew where this was, where this was going. And he's like, I can't wait. Let, tell, tell me, tell me what it is. So I was like, okay. Took a deep breath. And I was like, knock, knock. And at that moment, he pissed himself off because he knew what was coming, right? I was like, knock, knock. And he just had the biggest smile. And he was like, so he's like, he's like, who's there? And I'm like, cows go. And he started wetting himself because I said cows. Like, he has a, you know, cows just got him for some reason. Because, like, you know, he loves cows. And then, I don't even know why. Should have asked him, actually. Um... I was like, cows go, and he starts pissing himself, and he's like, cows go who? And he knew exactly where this joke was going, I think. He knew exactly, right? And I'm like, and he was like, cows go, and I'm like, no, you, and he didn't say cows go who, he's like, cows go, and I'm like, no, you couldn't say cows go who, and he's like, cows go who? <laughs> starts wetting himself, and I was like, no, cows go moo, and he started, I we both just started wetting ourselves of laughter, crying of laughter. And I was like, I told you it is terrible. I, I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so sorry for telling you this joke. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> and he's looking at himself and he's like, that joke, he's like, you can tell the internet I approve your joke. And I'm like, oh my God. Because he, oh my God. And then he turned to his friend, the to the assistant, and he's like, did you know he's famous on the internet? He's big on the internet. And like, the girl's like, yeah, I watch his videos. And I'm like, damn it. I was like, oh my god, my thank you. And um, he turns back to me and he's like, I'm going to tell everybody that joke just to piss them off. And I'm like, yes, approved. I got approved. The joke has been approved by Matt. He's going to tell everybody. It's going to be great. I was like, thank you so much, Matt. And then I got him to sign an autograph for me. Because, like, how could I not? Because he, got, got he, he signed my cap. The day uh, the day before, and then as Matt went to sign the the order, um, he was like, "Cause like I was, I told you the cast didn't need the card with my name on it, cause they all knew my name." And Matt's like, 
Adam, I don't even need that. I didn't, I don't, he's like, Adam, I don't need that card. And he, I just like chucked it away. He's like, I don't need that. I know who you are. I'm like, you do. You know who I am. And he wrote on the photo, he was like, Adam, great to finally meet you, Matthew Dario. Like, keyword, finally. Like, great to finally meet you. Because, like, obviously, he's been watching my videos. He's been stalking my Twitter account. He knows my account. He's like, great to finally meet you. And that, I was like, oh my god. I, I. And I shook his hand. Actually, I shook Alberto's hand. I shook Dom's hand. I shook I shook all their hands. I was like to Matt, thank you. So I shook his hands. I was like, thank you so much for everything. He's like, I was like, no, no, thank you. And I'm like, I'll see you on the internet. And he's like, yep. I'm like, I can't wait to watch your video. He kept telling me, you can't wait to watch my video. I'm like, oh my God, I'm stressed. Oh my God. So autos were over. Sad times. And so after I titled the autographs, I was charging my phone in the foyer area. And one of my friends, Chloe, she came up to me after after she got her Matt autograph and she was like, Matt's been telling everybody your joke and I'm like, wait, excuse me, come again? Like, what did you say to me? And she's like, I'm like, wait, how do you know, wait, what? Uh, Matt's telling people my joke and it's been literally two minutes since I told, I just left and he's been, and he already told like five people. Like, are you, are you for real? He already told someone, it's been like two minutes and he told someone my joke. Like, are you crazy? I was like, well, how do you know? And she's like, I mentioned the joke to Matt when I was getting the autograph. And I'm like, you did not. And she's like, yeah, I told him how bad I thought it was. And then um, he said to her, I, um, so he's like, oh, it's great. I already, he's like, I already told that joke to uh, two other people. So Matt has already, had already told somebody, like he's two of his other people, my joke. It was literally been five minutes, and he's already been telling people I'm, I have I, I have literally won at life. I have won. I'm, okay, I made Matt laugh with my terrible joke, and he's, he approved it, told me to share it on the internet, and he's been here already telling people at the con, like, it's been two seconds, and he's telling people already. That's how iconic this joke is. Oh, my God, when my friend told me that I wanted, I literally collapsed. I was like, are you joking? I'm like, are you actually kidding me right now? So, my joke has is been is Matt approved. That's it, I won. In the ending, and after all the audience happened, we went back into the panel room for the closing ceremony because there wasn't an opening one that day because obviously it was on Saturday. Now, let, oh my God, this is going to get emotional, man. I'm going to tell you right now. So a bunch of the, peop the people at the con had organized, they made a video thanking the Shadowhunters cast, you know, for Save Shadowhunters. Like, they were, like, thanking them for everything they've done and for the show. So, and they, the cast had no idea, right? They had no idea this was even happening. Well, they all came out on the stage. Well, they all said, thank you so much for this amazing experience. And we all thanked them. We all clapping in. It was just really, it was, it was really good. No one was getting emotional yet. Then, um, one of the girls, the translator that was MC, Sophie was like, okay, so the Guys, we, the, some of, you know, the fans actually have a gift for you. We have made a video for you, thing, you know, and we just wanted you to, you know, we wanted to show it to you. So they all came off the podium and sat on the ground and, like, you know, faced the screen. And they played this fucking emotional video. Like, it was just, like, a compilation of, like, different scenes from, like, the show and, like, behind-the-scenes footage and, like, clips of fans saying thank you to the cast for everything they've done. And then, like, um... I think there was, like, a montage of photos. Everyone was holding up a letter, and each letter had, like, Save Shadowhunters. Like, a letter from each, or from the phrase, Save Shadowhunters. Like, everyone was holding up a letter. And it was really, and, and plus the sad music, I was, I was tearing up, right? I looked over, and I saw M fucking crying. She had tears. Cat started crying, because they turned, and they were just, like, so... And then Jade bawled his... Jade was bawling. Like, I think it was the moment in the, in the video when, uh... Jace is like, for the Shadow Hunters. And like, plus I had that really sad song, and like, it was just so emotional, and they all started crying. So, and like, M was crying, and because then when they turned around, you could see M crying, then like, everyone started crying. Then Kat started tearing up, and she started crying. And then Jade uh, started bawling his eyes out. And then Alberto got like really, really quiet, and he like kind of put his hat down and was like, really like upset. And like, you know, you know. And then I saw Matt tearing up. That I was got. I was literally. I was crying. Everyone was crying. We were all bawling. And then Sophie, the MC, the translator, she was saying, you know, thank you so much for everything you've done. You know, we're gonna keep fighting. And she, she started crying too. But it was it was mostly because it was such a wild ride for her and having and it all just built up and actually just broke down and started crying because you know obviously with the cast crying and like everyone started crying. It was it was such a up. Uh, it was something else. Like, I have never experienced that in my life. That was just... I... It was in that moment. I mean, we weren't... 
obviously we're not gonna fight, we're not gonna give up yet, obviously, but like, that moment, I was like, you, we can't give up, like, this cast deserves everything, like, we cannot give up right now, we can't give up. And they all, everyone, they did a group hug, and, like, uh, everyone was bawling, and they, like, thank you so much, and just kept thanking us over and over again, and then finally they had, you know, they had to go, so I could finish signing the orders, whoever hadn't finished, you know, and as I left, everyone's crying, we were all hugging each other, like, oh my, I was, I had thought I finished crying, then one of my other friends came up, we were crying, and, like, we were all hugging, and, like, oh my god, all these random people I hadn't even met, we were just all hugging each other, like, just sharing this we were just getting all emotional together. It was so... It was... It was good to cry it out, I think. It was good to have a bit of a cry. But, like, it was so... It was so emotional, man. Like, nothing will... Nothing will ever get me like it did that. Like, just the love in the room was insane. And, yes, so after the closing ceremony, I was with my friend waiting... With some of my friends from Shamdari News. We were, like, lining up for Alberto for my friend because she hadn't got her autograph yet. Um, she, it's Anna from Bain and Lewis. You know her? Um, so, we all... She got his autograph, you know, she got into, he got in, she got him to sign stuff, whatever. And then I said to, I walked past the mic, stay dope, Alberto, because he said that to me yesterday. So I said that to him today. I was like, stay dope, Alberto. And then as we're waiting outside um, for our other friend to come out, um, Alberto finished and he came out with his, like, people. And, like, he came past us and he was like, it was great to meet you guys. And he turned to me. He's like, stay dope, bro. And he fist bumps me. We fist bumped. Like, what the fuck? Alberto and I did that. We did that. That's a thing now. It's a thing. We fist bumped. Like, that just made my... That that was like the perfect ending to the day. To the con. Like, walked past me saying, stay... He said bye to everybody. And he's like, to me, turned to me. He's like, stay dope, Adam. Oh, or bro. Stay dope, bro. One of the two. I don't know. We fist bumped. That was a thing. Smiled at me. Waved. We sat it by... Let me tell you, I fist bumped with Alberto Rosende, like, I can't, can, I can't relate. Like, oh, that was, a, it was a spiritual experience, like, and, like, just him calling me bro, and, like, you know, it's just, it's surreal that I've kind of become friends with the cast now, like, it's just, oh my god, and that pretty much concluded day two, which concludes my entire story time, and if you're still watching it at this point, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for sticking by this whole thing and watching everything, because I know I talked and I ranted, I ranted a lot, but like, how could I not share everything with you guys? Like, you've been with me through watching all my reactions for like the last year, like, how could I not share this amazing experience with you guys, so I have to tell you every single detail, so I, and I'm just so excited telling you it anyways, and so I hope you guys stuck, you know, have watched this whole, if you have, amazing, if you haven't, you're probably not even here, so that concluded day two, and that concluded the convention, the most amazing experience of my entire life, and now they've announced Thos 3, so I'm going to try and attempt and plan to go to that next year because I have to go again. Like, I have to. It just, it needs, it needs to be done. So I just want to say thank you to Weevents for actually organizing the con and, like, having it all run so smoothly despite a few hiccups. Like, at, at every con, there's always a few hiccups. But the staff was so lovely. They were amazing. Because I was a VIP, I had a staff assigned to me and she was incredible. She made sure I got to where I needed to be, like, she was incredible, like, the whole staff was phenomenal, like, they were, it was, they were, they were great to thank you guys so much for organising, for being just general angels, yes, being angels in general, that's what I meant, thank you to the entire cast for even choosing to come to this con and spending the weekend with us, it was incredible, I'm sure we all had an amazing time, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you also to the cast for even watching my reaction videos, like, that's just insane to me, and it still doesn't even feel real, thank you to the fans who were there, who even came up to me and, like, wanted to take a photo, you guys were amazing, I met so many amazing people, and I'm so, 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 so happy that we got to, I got to meet some of you guys, because, like, it's just, oh my god, I made my life, um, so, just, all in all, it was a fantastic experience, and that is the end of my story time. Damn, this took me a week to film. Like, I tried filming this for the whole week, and it was like bits and pieces, and now it's finally done, and I can upload it for you guys, and I'm, oh my god, I'm so excited to, for you guys to watch this. So, yeah, that was my Thos 2 experience, and it was insane. So, I'm so blessed. I'm so, so blessed. Um... So just thank you to everybody involved in this and making this happen. So until next time, guys, um, thank you for watching. I will be posting Supergirl reactions and Bolt type reactions 
and a one on herb promo reaction as well. Um, in the coming, in the next couple of days and next week. So the next week will be filled with some videos. So stay tuned, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and I'll see you guys later on for another vi for another video. Obviously, thank you again. I love you guys so much. Ciao for now. Thank you for watching this entire crazy story time. I love you guys. Bye. Ciao for now.